So in their last 23 games, the Boston Celtics are 18 and 5. This is coming off of them having one of the more underwhelming starts in the league as for most of the season they were a 9th or 10th seed with a below 500 record but now they're rolling and they're well above 500. This leads me to ask the question of how good the Boston Celtics are this season because we've seen them be terrible and we've seen them be great. In today's video I'll basically just be answering that question how good the Celtics are. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to reach over 3,000 subscribers, also drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments and play that intro. comes to the positives for this Boston Celtics team, the thing they do great, by far the biggest thing that they actually do good is be one of the best defenses in the league. Because right now, the making of this video, they have the second best defensive rating in the league, meaning they're like the second best defense in the league. If I'm being honest, them being this good on defense is a bit of a surprise, but it's also not a crazy surprise. Because they definitely have a lot of defensive talent on this roster, it was just about putting it all together. Because in prior seasons, they were very underwhelming on defense as they were just barely in the top 10 but this season i have to give them credit they've been absolutely fantastic the scheme that their coach has implemented is working perfectly they have a lot of perimeter defenders a lot of versatile defenders and they have good paint defense Overall, it's just a team that's going to force you to take a lot of tough shots. When you look at the defenders on this team, they have a bunch of really good ones. They have Jason Tatum, who we all know is a really good defender who can switch on them every single position except for a center position. Jalen Brown, who when he is active, is one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. A guy who could guard all positions except like made some fours and some fives. Marcus Smart is one of the 15 best perimeter defenders in the league. He's a little bit overrated on defense if we're being honest, but he's definitely a plus on that end of the floor one of the better guard defenders in the league and they have robert williams who's one of the best shot blockers in the league he's a guy who's always altering shots at the rim just a crazy athletic big man and even at their backup center spot they have al horford who's a really solid defender just because of how smart he is he never misses rotation and he switches on the perimeter and guards the pick and roll better than most centers in the league obviously the center position is the most important position when it comes to defense and having two really good above average defensive centers is really good for your team also at the trade deadline they traded for Derek White who's a solid premier defender and they have Grant Williams who is actually a really really good defender he's not amazing on offense but on defense he's just really good he could possibly be one of the best defenders in the league in the upcoming future by far the biggest reason the Celtics have been doing well as of late and the biggest reason they're even not like a terrible team is because their defense is amazing and when your defense is that good that's a defense that can like give the teams like at the top of the Eastern Conference some trouble because they have a bunch of perimeter defenders to throw out at the Nets like perimeter players at the Bulls perimeter players at the Heat perimeter players they don't really have anyone who can stop Joel Embiid because no one in the NBA can stop Joel Embiid but they have someone who they put on like James Harden I'm not saying you're gonna lock down James Harden no one can but they can play as good defense on James Harden as any other team in the league other thing this team like has in their favor is just the fact that they have two all-star level players not every team has that they have two of the best scorers in the league and jason tatum and jalen brown these two guys are good enough to keep you in the game against any other team in the league those two guys are playing both really good at the same time it is kind of hard to beat the celtics and that's a duo that can compete and even some nights outplay any other duo in the east i'm not saying they're the best duo in the league because they're probably like four or five other duos in the league that are better than them but i'm just saying they're not far off from them for example i do think they can compete with the heat's big two not big two but the heat's duo of jimmy butler and bam at a bio i'm not gonna say they're better or worse i'm just saying they can compete with them they compete with the bulls duo the sixers duo the bucks duo the nets duo i'm not saying like they're better than them but they are capable of like kind of competing with them if you know what i mean like they don't have like a duo like the Cavs because the Cavs duo can't compete with any of them the Cavs duo is darius garland like jailer jared allen that cannot compete with the nets duo at all the celtics at least have that and they just when you just have those two guys on your team you kind of have a chance to win the game not a lot of teams can say that 
the problem with the Celtics is that outside of those two guys, they don't really have that much great offensive players. When it comes to the negatives about this team, there mainly is just one that really sticks out like a Thor so. And that is the fact that when it comes to the offensive side of the floor, the Celtics are not amazing, but at the same time they're also not terrible. At the making of this video, they rank 16th in the league in offensive rating, which honestly isn't that bad, it's average. But being average on offense is definitely not something I would count as a huge plus. But at least them being arguably the best defense in the league. A lot of time when you see a team that's like the best defense in the league, a lot of time they like horrible on offense, kind of like the New York Knicks last season. At least they're in the middle of the pack. But to be honest, when you look at this roster, it's not a team you would really expect to be a top 10 offense. Because outside of their top two players in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, who are some of the best scorers in the league, outside of those guys, it's a bunch of below average to average offensive players. Marcus Smart is an average offensive player player i know he gives you 12 points and five assists but he's one of the least efficient players in the league robert williams is just an alley-oop catcher and put back guy al horford is just an average offensive player although he's an above average offensive center due to the fact that he can shoot and at the end of the day he's only averaging 10 points their new addition Derek white has been atrocious since joining but if i'm being honest i think he might be the team's third best offensive player he's a guy who could give them 13 to 15 points on solid efficiency while being a guy who could play off the ball and stuff like that but him being your third best like offensive player on the team isn't something that's really ideal if you ask me and grant williams usually i would say he's one of the worst offensive players in the league but he's actually been average this season because he's actually been shooting really well from three although not a lot of attempts but he is still shooting well so i'm gonna give him some credit but overall this is not a great offensive team when it comes down to the playoffs they're gonna be really easy to game plan for because if you just shut the ball out of jason tatum and brown's hands there's gonna be like trying to make the other players on this team try and beat them and they won't beat them because they're a bunch of average to below average offensive players or you could do like another scheme which is to let Jalen brown and jason tatum go off and just focus on like the other guys and the other guys will definitely be easily shut down because they can't create their own shot well and they can barely hit open shots so if you pay attention to them you're probably not going to do that well if i'm being honest i think the celtics are going to lose in the first round at best their second round exit i promise you they're not going past the second round they are a really good defensive team but if you ever want to be a title contender you have to be good on both offense and defense they simply aren't that right now but at least they have been winning games as of late because with the way they started the season it was looking like they might have to blow up the whole team which would not be ideal if you're a boston celtics fan or if you're just the general manager of the team no one wants to see them blow up anyways guys that's it for the video let me know whether or not you think the celtics are uh, how good you think they are drop a like on this video and have my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want daily nba content also we're on this video with 3000 subscribers also drop a comment on this video as i do respond to all of my comments and play that intro